Greetings family and welcome to another edition of Black Talk Radio where black media matters and black life definitely matters. Today is Wednesday, August 29th, 2018. Family, this video is about lab-grown meat is not meat. Missouri state rules. Apparently, it's shopper confusion is to blame for the new marketing regulation. Family, pay attention to this. I did a video before on this channel where I told you about lab-produced chicken that they were creating also and that you should be aware of. Well, this is also, in addition to that, something you need to be aware of and be quite concerned. As a matter of fact, a personal note, I'd rather become a vegan and go vegetarian before I start eating some lab grown meat. Can you just imagine the mofo side effects? It's the motherfucking side effects. But anyway, let's get into the story. So family, what's the definition of meat? Well, once upon a time, that would have been an easy enough question to answer. But the advent of meat substitute products such as the Impossible Burger and the arrival of cultured meat, a.k.a. lab-grown meat, has given regulators in Missouri pause for thought. As well, it should give you and me pause for thought as well. Next time you think about going to that hamburger joint, you might want to check over that menu or ask questions what type of meat, if that's what they call it, that they use in their burgers. But nonetheless, on Tuesday, it became the first state in the United States to enact a law stating that the word meat cannot be used to sell anything that, quote, is not derived from the har from harvested production, livestock, or poultry. That is a clear definition. Meat, or the law states that the word meat cannot be used to sell anything that's not derived from harvested production livestock or poultry. So, in other words, these lab-grown meat products that they are creating, they're trying to use the word meat in their marketing materials. In other words, they're trying to pass off this product as meat when it really isn't. I'm sure as you look at this burger here, if you're probably coming down from a buzz or if you're just flat out hungry, this burger sure does look juicy until you look a little closer at that hamburger meat. That patty sure looks like it's some bubble gut busters. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um, the law could see violators hit with a $1,000 fine and up to a year in prison. The driving force behind the ruling, apparently, is shopper confusion. Mike Deering, a spokesperson with the Missouri Cattlesmen Association, which fought for the law, said, quote, The big issue was marketing with integrity and consumers knowing what they're getting. There's so much unknown about this. Unquote. And that statement is a true statement. There is so much unknown about this. And yet, they want you to put this on your dinner plate. Well, while it's certainly the case that the ruling may help product help protect the livelihoods of local ranchers, there is some question as to how many consumers really will benefit from the new law. The company that produces meat substitute, Tofurky, that's T-O-F-U-R-K-Y, which is marketed as a, quote, plant-based meat, unquote, filed an injunction to prevent the enforcement of the statute, alleging that it's seen no evidence of shoppers being confused by the terminology. Well, let me just state this for the record. I don't think you, none of you 
lab grown uh, scientists, mad scientists or whatever you want to call yourselves. I don't think you have been in the stores to be able to even make the claim yourself. Obviously, they've done some test marketing. They've done some testing to find out if consumers were being confused. And obviously, people are. So, why you turn around and make these statements like you're just dumb or like you're thinking everybody else is dumb, we're not. That meat right there in this picture right here, if that's what you want to call it, looks disgusting. Would you eat that? I'm asking you, my YouTube friends, would you eat that? I know I wouldn't. If somebody served me a plate of that, I would probably tell them I'll skip eating. Well, family, there are also concerns about the precedent the ruling could set for the wider food industry. Tofurky says it prevents the sharing of truthful information and impedes competition and for its environmental implications. Well, according to Allied Market Research, the meat substitute market is expected to reach $7.5 billion globally by the year 2025 as consumers look to reduce their traditional meat intake due to sustainability and animal welfare welfare issues. Cultured meat or clean meat, if that's what you want to call it, will play a significant role in that shift, but the way it's produced still technically qualifies it as meat, albeit via a different journey to your plate. So what this law means for the popularity of the Impossible Burger and other meats but not meats well it remains to be seen so family if I was you like I said I would be asking some important questions if you don't want to end up on the toilet <laughs> or much worse this is Guru at Black Talk Radio where black media matters hoping you learn something from this important information on lab grown meat leave your comments in the comments section and thanks again for watching